guys, welcome to my new video. Today I have something called the PPTV7. It's a six inch um, phablet from Gearbest. Never heard of it before, but I thought I'd give it a try and you can get it for around about a hundred pounds. At the moment on Gearbest it is 88 pound and that flash deal is ending in about five days. So grab it while you can. Let's just get it right out. Mobile manual. And there is the six inch PPTV phone. Put that to one side for a sec. Open up. Looks like a very professional and a nice tidy box. So, micro USB cable. Put that back in there. Charger. Standard. I lift this up. I'm assuming there's going to be a SIM tray tool and a few little manuals. And oh, you get a SIM card. China. So it's going to be no good over here. But you get a, uh, a SIM card with it. A uh, little manual. Most I think it's all in Chinese, is it? Yep, the manual's all in Chinese. And SIM tray tool right there. So here is the six inch phone with the all metal body. It's a really nice looking phone, but nothing spectacular or you know unique really about it. Um, all metal body apart from the top and bottom plastic parts where the antennas are present. And on the rear there we have your 13 megapixel camera. On the front is your eight megapixel camera. Also your earpiece there. So at the bottom you have your micro USB port right there and you have your speaker and your little microphone right there. SIM tray tool there at the edge, which can house a nano SIM and a micro SIM, and will also house a micro SD card, but you can't have all three in at once. At the top, headphone jack, and I believe that's a little IR blaster as well, it looks like it. Uh, power button on the right and volume up and down, nice metal, clicky buttons, no no rattling. So you've got a um, protective film on the front, nice, very nice, screen looks nice. Let's take the back off as well, super. Must admit, it does look a hell of a lot better without the stickers and the protector on it. So, this is a six inch screen and a resolution of 2K, 2K resolution. So a smartphone under 100 pound with a 2K display is quite impressive. Uh, battery is 3,610 milliamps, uh, which I suppose is a little bit small for a big device. And I suppose only time will tell whether the battery will last long enough. It's Helio X10 CPU running at 2 gigahertz, octa core processor, and also 3 gig of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, and it's expandable up to 128 as well. So let's turn this phone on. There we go. Um, I have set a few things up on this earlier just to save a little bit of time, guys. I've connected to the Wi Fi. You do get um, a couple of apps like Zaza Remote on there, uh, already sort of pre-installed. You get, there's a, a theme section you have on here, which you can change wallpapers, ringtones, and stuff like that. It's running Android 5.1, so it's a little outdated on that, I suppose. I've tried to check for updates, but there's no updates available as of yet. And it looks very, very different to normal stock Android. So they've obviously added their own flavor to it. So this is their the PPOS. So that is their sort of uh, software over the top of Android. Uh, Android 5.1, as you can see there. Custom build version. You do get, a, I suppose, there's not a very nice sort of board around the edge. Uh, so you lose a little bit of screen size in that respect. 188 messages, wow. And looking at the screen, 
it does look really nice I must admit let's turn the brightness right up so it does go rather bright and um, yeah I love the that screen is really nice actually yeah, it's beautiful 88 pound at the moment that's the dimmest it goes oh yeah that's the dimmest Got normal settings there guys menu get rid of that it's got a new app drawer so you can install your own launcher if you wish it's just that that's all the apps you get on there tools recorder play music all that sort of stuff um camera so here is the selfie camera at the moment let's turn that brightness down a touch so it's not too in your face so you get the settings cog up there guys H hdr you have your beauty mode which i'll turn off i don't like the beauty mode the picture quality high low middle high more settings there's a few more settings you can change in there pretty standard so let me go ahead and take a selfie picture nice sound and then to do a video you swipe to the right like that let's have a look at the video settings video quality look FHD full HD um, FD like an open bracket I'm not entirely sure what that is I'm trying to think something definition does have HD as well so here is the selfie camera it looks quite nice on here okay so here is the selfie camera it looks quite nice on here okay let's go back to picture and let's use the front facing camera front facing camera settings HDR off timer off picture quality you can have high low or middle let's go on high let's take a picture of the box okay so autofocus you can touch and it goes green it's a little bit it's a little slow at focusing but pictures are quite quick and snappy that doesn't look too bad at all you know not bad at all so it's something with a bit of color in there autofocus doesn't seem great okay now let's just swipe down like that and check the video settings FHD 4k apparently it's 4k recording in here I can't imagine it being full 4k if I'm being honest HD FD full FHD let's try 4k shall we probably interpolated okay let's see what quality we get on this okay that'll do okay let's see what quality we get on this Okay, that'll do. Cool, so the camera app looks pretty cool. 4K, I'd imagine, is not real 4K. Um, shutter speed seems to be pretty quick. Autofocus, not so good. You have to touch, and when it does focus, it's a little bit on the slow side. Let's open up YouTube and have a look at some video. That's nice on there. Must that speaker's quite loud, you know? 
Yeah, that's loud. I'll bring it round to the... That's great. That looks pretty cool, that does. You know, there's a little bit of bass to that, you know? Yeah. I'm impressed with that. Nice sound there. Nice sound, good quality there. Let's just check the sound and notification to see if there's any sound enhancement on there. Uh, oh, doesn't seem to be no sound enhancement setting within here. What's in there? Uh, default notification sound. Okay, so there's no sound enhancement on the phone, so audio is is what it is. Play Store. Well, let's, let me show you guys. Let's go into the settings very quickly just to show you. Uh, it does look a little bit different. Wi-Fi settings. More airplane mode, VPN. Display, BLN control, brightness level. So that's all pretty standard. Assistive touch, that's your gestures. So you can do them. Power saving, storage. Uh, okay, so you get, I've installed a couple of apps and I think you get around about 28, 27 gig from the 32 on there. So that's all right. Okay. Okay, guys, that is pretty much it for the video. I am going to go away, install some games on it, give it a good old play, test the battery, um, do some phone calls, and really sort of see how this phone performs. At the moment, uh, I'm very impressed with the sound quality, and the pictures on the camera look very, very nice. All under a hundred pounds. It's looking very, very good at the moment. Blackboard is around the edge. I'm not a big fan of it. It's a nice design, but nothing spectacular. And there's no fingerprint scanner on it either. Um, but guys, if you want to take a look below, I've put a link in the description. Uh, if you wish to purchase one, if you do that, I'd help my channel out uh, a lot and help me do more reviews for you lot. Um, but what also would help is if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Any comments and I'll try and answer them the best as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.